here with another tutorial as part of the Mimi G for Michael Levine collaboration. Today we're going to be working on a modified version of Vogue 9111. We're going to turn view B into a mini dress. Let's get started. If you're new to sewing or you need a refresher, make sure and view the sewing basics video that I have linked in the description box below where I talk about all of the basic tools that you should have on hand, how to read your pattern sizing, how to cut out your pattern, how to lay your pattern onto fabric, and how to cut out your fabric. There's a whole lot of information there aside from that, so if you are new or like I said, you need a refresher, make sure and watch that video first and then come back and sew along with me. Let's talk about the pieces that you're going to need. We're going to be doing view B, like I mentioned. So for that, you're going to need pattern piece number two, which is the back. You're going to need to cut out pattern piece number five, which is our sleeve. And you're going to need to cut out pattern piece number three, which is the front of our top. Now we're cutting out two fronts because it's kind of like a wrap. We're going to lengthen this so that we can turn this top into a mini dress. Before we get started, let's talk fabric. Now this works beautifully with a lightweight sweater knit or a lightweight knit and since we're making a little mini dress I want to use a little heavier fabric so I'm going to go with a sweater knit for this particular project. Now I wish that you could reach through my lens right now and feel this fabric because it feels amazing. This black really soft sweater knit will feel great on my body and it's going to drape really nicely. Of course I will link to these fabrics in the blog post and it will also be in the description box below. Now another option would be to use a knit terry, which looks like this on one side, kind of like sweatpants, and like this on the other. If you want a more casual mini dress, this would be a really great fabric for that. And then of course you have options of using prints or stripes, um, or even this really gorgeous black and white knit uh, sweater knit that will also be linked in the description box below and in the blog post. Now I have already cut mine because I've made one already, so I kind of taped it back together in case you see the tape on my pattern, that's what it is. So I'm just going to show you what I did. Now you're going to take a ruler and you're going to notice that on the side that has your arm, right, the side that has your arm's eye, you have two notches. So on this side what we're going to do is we're going to make a straight line all the way across. And then we're going to cut I'm just going to cut my tape off. You should cut across your entire line. And what we're going to do is when you get this onto your fabric, you're going to spread it apart five inches. And I'm going to show you how to do that on our fabric. So go ahead and cut this pattern piece just like I showed you in half, so we have two pieces. We're not going to be cutting the back because we're just going to add the extra length to the bottom of our back piece. So go ahead, mark your line right in between your double notches, cut and then spread it apart and then go get your fabric. Okay, so as you can see, I have my fabric laid out. Right sides are facing, so the right side of my fabric is facing each other. Salvage edges meeting and I talk about how to lay out your fabric in my Sewing Basics video. And you're going to take your pattern pieces, right? Because now you have two pattern pieces because we split this in half. And what you're going to do first is you're going to work with the top piece and you're going to make sure that your grain line, where it says grain line on your pattern piece, I talk about that in the Sewing Basics video, is parallel to your selvage edge. And we're going to put weights on this so it doesn't shift. Okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to align this but we're going to add some space because we're lengthening this and since we didn't have a lengthen here line on this pattern we just created one. So what we're going to do is I'm going to separate this by about five inches. For me that comes a couple of inches above my knee which for me is a good length for my mini dress. If you want to add more inches or you want it to be a little longer then you could add up to eight inches. I wouldn't add any more than that or you'll lose the shape of the top. So what you're going to do is if you're doing 5 inches or 6 inches or 7 inches, however many inches you're doing, you want to make sure that that space is in between both pattern pieces. So like I said, I'm going to do 5. So first I'm going to make sure that it's 5 inches apart all the way across. And then what I want to make sure is that my center front line is aligned on both pattern pieces. As you can see here, it's not. So 
I'm going to place my ruler on the center front line on my top pattern piece and I'm going to move this over so that my center front line on the bottom piece is completely aligned and my ruler should be straight on that line. Now I'm going to use the rest of my weight to hold this in place. I'm just going to make sure and double check that I have those five inches and I do. And then we're just going to use a chalk root, a roller or a piece of chalk, whatever you have handy, and you're just going to align the sides. If your center front line is matched, your sides will match up. And so I'm going to show you here that it's aligned on both, line, on both sides. So if I make a line of chalk in the middle, it's one continuous line. That's what you want to make sure that you have. Once you have that, you're just going to cut around this the same exact way that you would cut out any pattern piece. Make sure that you transfer all of your notches. And remember that before we cut this side and spread it apart, there were two notches because that's where we made our cut. So I want you to not forget that and make two snips. Now that we have one complete piece, we can go ahead and set this aside. Readjust your fabric so we can cut out and add length to our back piece. Okay, so you can see I readjusted my fabric and I have the fold of my fabric facing me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you place your pattern piece on the fold because you place this here as it says on the fold of your fabric. And what we're gonna do is we're going to simply add however many inches you spread apart your pattern to the bottom of this pattern. So like I said, for me that was five inches. So I'm going to go ahead and use my pattern weights to hold this down. And then I'm simply going to measure out five inches. And I'm going to make a line. I'm going to join those dashes. And now we're going to cut around with our new addition. You're going to continue cutting this out and then lay and cut your sleeve. Now that we have our back, we have our sleeves, and we have our front pieces fully extended and modified, we can start sewing. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to attach our shoulder seams. So I want you to place your back piece with the right side of your fabric facing you, and we're going to take one front side and right sides facing. Make sure that the right side is facing the right side. We are going to pin and we're going to sew across each shoulder using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Once you have your shoulder sewn front to back on one side, we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So grab your other front and make sure that right sides are facing. Now we have both shoulders sewn together. If you have a serger, go ahead and serge your seam allowance. And now before we do anything else, after you serge your seam allowances, we're going to do a double fold around the entire front and back neck. Okay, now that you have your seams uh, serged and pressed, we're going to sew our neckline. So we're going to start at one of the fronts. We're gonna go through the shoulder we're going to go around the neck and then down to the front. We're going to do the same thing across the curved bottom of both of our fronts. Okay, so starting at one front, I'm going to do a double fold. So I'm folding 3 eighths of an inch and then I'm folding again. And I'm gonna sew close to the edge OK, 
Okay, now that we have the front and our back sewn with a double hem, we're going to do that curved bottom of both fronts. Okay, so you're going to overlap your fronts and you're going to match those double notches on the side seams of both front pieces, just like in the diagram, the little picture. And we're going to stitch these down before we attach our front to back at the side seams. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side, creating that wrap that front wrap. Now our front is one entire piece because we've joined our two fronts. Now before we attach our front to back at our side seams, I want you to take up the hem across the bottom of, the, of our back piece. So you're going to do the same double fold and you're going to sew close to the edge. Now that we have our sides overlapped and the front is one entire piece, before we um, attach front to back at our side seams we need to attach our sleeves so I want you to take your sleeve and right sides facing match your double notch for the back and your single notch for the front and starting at one end we're going to sew our sleeve Once we have our sleeve attached, we're literally going, going, to, going to sew the entire side seam front to back all the way down in one continuous seam. So we're going to start by pinning at the sleeve, right sides facing of course. I'm gonna pin, I'm gonna pin underneath my arm, making sure to align my seams. And you should be surging as you're going along cleaning up your seam allowances. And then we're going to go ahead and pin along the entire side seam. Make sure that you are matching the double notches on the side seam of your back to the double notches on the front. Pin at your hem, making sure it's even. I'm going to pin several times. And then starting at the hem, we're going to sew one continuous seam from the bottom all the way up our sides and through our arm, our sleeve. You're gonna sew the other sleeve and side the same exact way. Now all that's left to do is for you to do a double fold on your sleeve hem. And you're going to do that the same way. You're going to fold and then fold over and sew close to the edge and then you're all done. As always, I hope you have enjoyed this sew along and remember, you can get all of the fabric shown in this tutorial at www.lowpricefabric.com and if you use code MIMI10 at checkout, you get 10% off your entire purchase. Online only. Until next time, peace.